Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the painting photoshop action. Painting photoshop action is truly a unique photo effect that digitally recreates traditional painting techniques. So before we get started, let's view a few examples. With lots of effects to apply, painting photoshop action has got you covered. You just need to open your main image and run the photoshop action and you get something like this. The final effect creates lots of different elements like different paint strokes, variations, brush textures, canvas textures, canvas gesture like texture creating a rough uh, imprint all over the painting, some unfinished paint strokes and even some unfinished canvas lineups, canvas cracks and paint peels, everything uh, is there to give you the feel of authentic traditional painting. So here as you can see, this is the final effect applied on this image and let's view a few more. This Photoshop mode action works absolutely great on portraits, landscapes, still lifes, your models, figures, texts, logos, everything. Everything has got you covered by this painting Photoshop action. And as you can see here in this image, you can see canvas textures, you have got uh, paint on strokes, brush texture, paint cracks, and even at the sides you can see that the paint stroke is representing a kind of unfinished tone. So here are a few more. This is another portrait. The different sort of paint crack texture applied. There is another landscape. Here in this image you can see that this has been done to present the canvas showing up through the peripheral region. The paint is missing at the edge. So you can get these different kinds of effects and we'll get into details about all these different customization once we run this action and go over the different elements and groups that are created. So let's try the effect on this image and this one is a truly hassle free photoshop action. Unlike my previous actions this requires very little setup. So this works on any image be it background or non background images and also this action works on any language of photoshop. You need not to have English, it can be any language and this action will run absolutely fine. In this action you also do need to set uh, the opacity of your brush to 100% or something like that. It's nothing big deal of a setup. So regarding image size, this action works really well from images varying between 2000 pixels to 5000 pixels. This action works really great on high resolution images. Also uh, make sure uh, your image mode is RGB and it's 8 bits per channel and then click this flyout menu and select this panel options and make sure it's default masks 
on shield layers and add copy to copy to layers when groups are selected. Apart from that, you just need to load the files that comes in the download package. To choose that go to file, open and go to the main files of this painting photoshop action and select all these three files the painting patterns, painting photoshop action and painting tool preset and click open. Just make sure if you're using newer versions of photoshop you can get this kind of prompt when you are trying to load the tool presets and make sure this is very important that you select load as tools do not select import as brushes just select load as tools and as you can see it has loaded so if your actions panel is not visible you can go to window actions it will show up here you can see the painting photoshop action and all the patterns and the tool presets are also loaded so you can check it like here you go to edit presets and preset manager you can go to patterns and you can see that the painting patterns have been loaded and same goes for the tool presets and to run the action it's fairly simple you just need to select this and click play so we'll do that and it will take some time to finish we'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done So here is the final effect and before we go into details of these different elements created we'll run this action on another image and see what we get. So we'll take a different image this time, it will be a landscape. Just open your image, select the action and hit play. It's that simple. We'll fast forward again from here and get back when it's done. So here it is, let me zoom in a bit to show you the final effect. And now let's go into details about different elements created. We'll go with this image first. So firstly we have this layer which is by default selected and your brush will be selected. So this is a reveal detail layer, you can paint on the layer mask with white to reveal parts of the main image. If you feel that your detail is lost after running this effect on certain areas like eyes and lips, you can select this layer mask and paint with white. So I'm just selecting a soft round brush and I'm selecting color white and now I'm gently tapping a few times just to reveal the main image detail. So I'll tap once or twice on the eyes to reveal details and so that's it. So now let's go over the different elements. First we have the background elements. This is nothing, just a base placeholder for a canvas color and original image. So you can just get some random abstract effect with this. Yeah, I'd recommend to keep it to the default settings. Next we have the core image layer, the image paint strokes. You can add just layer opacity or the layer visibility. So here we have uh, seven different types of paint strokes. So I can show you just by toggling this layer visibility off, you can see that the detail is changing and it's going more of a kind of impressionist art kind of look so you can simply toggle this layers on and off and also you can play around with the opacity like this and control your final effect then we have our brush strokes brush strokes creates this brush texture you can also I will just toggle this on and off to show you perfect you can also select this layers and add just the layer opacity I'll just zoom in a bit so that it becomes easier for you to see so as you can see the brush strokes are kind of brush texture you can change the opacity like this or 
toggle them on and off. Then we have here the drop plates. We have black drops, white drops, color drop 1 and color drop 2. You can toggle them on and off. Also you can select the layer mask and paint with black to hide these drops at unwanted places. Then we have this canvas merge in unfinished paint group. So what this does is if you toggle this visibility on you will see that this creates a cool unfinished paint look. It reveals the canvas at the edge. It feels like your paint is in the process and on top of it you can add these layers. These are unfinished paint layers. If you toggle this on you can see that it's creating a rough base coat of paint around your main subject. I'll just toggle this up. You can also keep it like this. So it also creates a cool abstract kind of look if you want, like it. And here too, a narrow canvas line and large canvas line. So play around them with a bit to get the effect that suits you most. I'll keep it like this. And then here we have the canvas textures. So here I'll just toggle this crack texture off and I'll also turn this gesso texture off and then zoom in a bit so that you can understand the differences. So this is the first gesso texture. It creates a rough primer coat of gesso that gives a rough texture kind of look on the canvases and this is a second variation. You can also add just the opacity a bit. And then we have the crack texture one and crack texture two. Then we have canvas texture one and canvas texture two. So now you can select these canvas textures and you can create more realistic feel, get a more realistic feel to it by following the method that I'll show you next. Select the canvas texture and create select like, click this layer mask icon make sure you're selecting this layer mask and then you can take your brush tool and select color black and then what you can do is you can paint some areas so to hide the canvas texture I'll just reduce the opacity a bit so what this does is this creates areas of paint of thick paint which hides the actual canvas texture in real world traditional painting scenario so in traditional painting you don't get to see the canvas texture at all the places. It shows up on the places where it's, the paint is thin, but it hides at thick areas. So to mark that you can apply it like this. So I'll reduce the opacity a bit more and I'll increase the brush. So here I'm painting on the white areas, assuming these lighter areas have different coats of paint so I'm trying to hide the canvas texture in these areas and I'm letting the dark areas show all the neutral areas show assuming they have a thinner coat of paint on the canvas Be good and also turn this tissue texture on and also the crack texture on. So here is the final look with all the textures applied and then we have image toning. Image toning is just the default toning it's better kept as it is. And then we have 20 color effects you can simply turn them on and apply them on the image. Next we have the overall adjustments. Here we have overall brightness and contrast. We have overall levels. We have overall curves.
overview situation. Overall creating map. Overall gradient field. You can change the gradient field color, angle, and scale. Then we have our overall color field. So that would be all for these different elements and customization. I will quickly apply the canvas texture on this one to show you again. We will create a layer mask. I will take color black and paint on areas where I feel that the layer of paint is thick. I'll apply a different crack texture here and here I'll again apply this unfinished paint look but I'll just hide this canvas lines I'll keep this one but I'll just reduce the opacity a bit down to soften this unfinished painterly look So yeah, here is the final result. So that's all for the painting Photoshop action. Hope you like this one. See you soon.